हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अरुण मेहता क्वालिटी टॉक फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई वॉट वन न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर एज यू आर अवेयर दैट इन आवर कंट्री व्हिच इज वेरी लार्ज एंड हैविंग ए 140 फोर्टी करोड़ पॉपुलेशन in metro cities and big cities in the states there are many big wholesale markets are there where agriculture produce is bought by the farmers and auction there in our country even after 75 years of independent the old system of auction is being followed we are almost more than 100 years behind the foreign countries today i am going to discuss why fruits and vegetable auction market electronic auction markets are not successful in india friends my name is arun mehta and you are watching my youtube channel arun mehta quality talk friends this topic i am going to cover in two parts the first part which i am taking today is related to the world scenario in the world how horticulture and other agri products are being traded what type of markets they have we are going to discuss this today and in next part i will discuss about the indian scenario how the horticulture markets operates in india what is the scene of first electronic auction market which was started more than 20 years ago in bangalore is running so we will discuss all these thing in detail so let's talk about world scenario so in the world there are many large auction markets are there i will name the few the first biggest auction market is in elsmere this is a flower auction market situated in holland and the second one is greenery market this greenery is a fruit and vegetable market situated in holland third market is mekelin willingdon this is a vegetable auction market in belgium and next is flora auction market this is a flower auction market situated in holland as you are there you are aware that holland is very popular in cultivation of flowers next market is john market john vegetable auction market this is also in holland and sixth market is eastland eastlandum fish auction market in this market fish is all auction and seventh market which is largest market in the world is easterlin auction market which is situated in germany so i will explain you how auction takes place in these markets and how big these markets are there and how their functions so when i will take my part 2 then you can easily compare how world operates in dealing in fresh commodities and how india operates in fresh commodities there is a huge variation we are almost more than 100 year behind from the world so let's talk about first market el samir auction market this market do the auction of 
flowers and this market was started in year 1910. It is the largest flower auction market in the world. It is spread over 120 acre land. 80% of the flower goes to 84 countries. So the flower which is auctioned is going to different countries. More than 84 countries this flower is going. More than 100 metric ton waste is generated every day in this market. So you can think where more than 100 metric ton waste is generated. So how big will be that market? So now we'll talk about McAleen Willingdon market. This market is auctioning 4.2 lakh metric ton vegetable every year. 4.2 lakh metric ton vegetable in a year. This market has six auction clocks. So in the foreign country, the auction is taking place through clock system. Where very fair dealing is there, whatever price buyer want to take, he can just punch the button, clock will stop and he will buy his requirement. So this market has six auction clocks where price and quantity is decided by the buyers. Day in day out system is followed. It means nothing is left out at the end of the market when auction is over. And next day, fresh auction starts. In this market, more than 70% produce exported to various countries. So whatever vegetable is auctioned in this market is forwarded to various countries. So more than 70% produced goes to other countries and only 30% produce they consume in their country. The one is special thing in this market is this company also use robot which is very rare thing and which can tell you that how advanced these countries are. So robot is used for the loading and unloading operation which is very tedious job in Hindustan in our country loading and unloading job is done by the our laborers who are getting very less price but here in this market a robot is used now talk about the floor auction market floor auction market is situated in holland holland or you can say netherlands you know that Netherlands is very, very famous for flowers. Every year, 1200 to 1500 new flowers and plants created in the Netherlands. Netherlands is so advanced that every year they create new and new varieties of different flowers and plants. Here, the auction clock were invented in 1902. And it has a unit of 80% of flowers and plant auctioned in this market goes abroad. In this unit, also, most of the flowers goes to different countries. All the flowers and plants delivered to the growers in graded and packed form as per the market standard. Market set very strict standard. And all flowers are sorted, graded and packed as per the laid down standards. Growers bring their produce themselves in the market. And all produce is stored in the cold room after arrival and till the time it is auctioned. Quality inspector check each lot and buyers are assured on the top quality product. With the glass house cultivation in the Netherlands, 
produced in this market comes throughout the year. Because as you know that in glass house you can do the cultivation throughout the year, it has no effect of outside environment. Now let's talk about the how auction takes place in this market. In this market, day in day out system is followed. In 24 hours, produce reaches to the buyers. In 24 hours, produce reaches to the buyers. How this operation happened, I will just explain you. At 16 hours or 4 pm, produce bought by the growers to the transportation hub. And after 2 hours, like, like 18 hours, like 6 pm, it reaches to the transportation. And by 7 pm, it arrives at the auction market. And by 8 pm, it goes inside the cold storage and 4 a.m. in the morning auction starts and 8 a.m. it is distributed to the buyers and by 11 a.m. it reaches to the buyers and 4 p.m. next day it is with the customer like with 24 hours Produce is starting from the producer and reaches to the customer hand. So efficient operation. I was lucky to visit all these markets during my European tour. So I saw the operations in these markets. It was so excellent. When you will see these market, you will not able to believe how the work is happening so fast every work is so fast it calculated in minutes everything is happening and in this market most of the ladies also do this operation work where in our country mainly this market operation work is done by the gents so next market which I will discuss is John market. John is also very famous market. So the John market is basically in the Holland and this is a vegetable auction market. So more than 10,000 growers and 2,000 to 3,000 wholesalers were attached with this market during early days when market started. But now the growers are less 1100 growers are there and 450 buyers are there and out of these 100 growers contribute to the extent of 80 percent of produce while 50 exporters contribute to the extent of 50 percent of sale so 60 percent of produce sold as a pre-bidding and 40 percent through auction clock so the system is little bit change in this market because buyers feel that it is too expensive to sit in the auction hall and take part in the auction. Because when they can do this by sitting in their home, so they think it's no fun of coming to the market, so they can do it electronically from their home. The so zone market provide all type of services like sale, quality assurance, transportation, logistic, cooperative affairs, quality control and business supplement to the growers and buyers. So this was the scenario of world auction markets. So when in next episode I will talk about Indian market scenario, then you can easily compare where India is where we are. We are so much behind in the technology, in the transparency and the system and processes. So friends, I hope you learned something new today. If you like my video, please don't forget to press the like button. 
tomorrow i will bring the second part of this topic till then keep smiling be healthy and keep watching my video and my youtube channel arunaita quality talk thanks for watching jai